Canada tells the U.S. no more right-to-work legislation next on your Labor Minute. Hello, I'm Mark Harrison. NAFTA talks are underway between the United States, Canada, and Mexico. And saying they're tired of competing with low-wage jobs and right-to-work states in the U.S., Canada has asked that right-to-work laws in America be scrapped. The Trump administration certainly didn't have that one in mind when they demanded that Canada and Mexico renegotiate the deal under the threat of the president pulling us out. Rather, this is Canada taking a very serious stance in order to legitimately protect its workers. Attending the talks, Jerry Diaz, who is the president of Canada's largest private sector union, Unifor, said, I'm very pleased with the position the Canadian government is taking on our labor standards. Canada's got two problems, the low wage rates in Mexico and the right to work states in the United States. To be sure, breaking what power unions in the U.S. have left is a key goal of the Republican Party, who would be loath to report back to their high-end donors that they had agreed to soften their full-on push for national right to work legislation. And if the first eight months of the Trump administration are any indication of how they truly plan to treat workers having failed to deliver on all of its campaign promises to the working class so far, we would anticipate that the White House would be equally opposed to upsetting the billionaire class. However, as Slate writer Jordan Weissman worded it in a recent column, America's record on workers' rights isn't exactly pristine, and that much of the developed world may see a non-union factory in Alabama much the way we see car plants in San Luis Potosi, Mexico. I'm Mark Harrison with your Labor Minute.